Hondo here from Love This City TV. I'm here with DJ Wrecking Night. You just played a nasty set. What's going on? Welcome to Toronto. Thank you. Thanks very much. Welcome. <laughs> so you know what? Your music's getting bigger and bigger, nastier and nastier. The net can't even release how crazy it is you're really doing these days. Like, hit us up. What have you been up to? The tour? Tell us new releases. What's been going on? Yeah, we're on the tour right now since last Friday. We started in France, actually, in Marseille. And then we went straight to the US, to Chicago. Then to Montreal, now Toronto. Be here around four weeks. So it should be good. Let me ask you, from the different cities, are you curating the music differently? Is the crowd react to another track? Like, how has it been in the cities been differently when it came to music and how have you seen them react to your style? Yeah, it's different all the time. It's really funny and interesting. Like, not just between cities, especially between countries, between mentalities. Uh, between clubs, atmospheres in certain clubs, they always vary, always different. Uh, so yeah, I adapt all the time, I try to at least. Um, like yesterday in Montreal I played a different set than today. The place was much, much smaller, like the whole surrounding was different, so yeah, it changes all the time. When you're coming up with these tracks, and uh, you're, it's funny, your Facebook bio says, uh, don't don't send me your demo. I don't do that. What's that about actually? Let, let's touch base on that. No, I was gonna send you a track, even though yeah, I've never made is, one yet. The <laughs> thing is you introduced me as a DJ, so that's where we should start when you ask me this question actually, because I'm not DJing really. Like I'm only playing my own productions. Only that. Um, so basically I'm not really DJing because a DJ would choose of many tracks of several people, several producers and then put them together in the best possible way. But I do this only with my own productions, so um, I can't really listen to demos all the time because I don't really focus on the tracks by other people. So I focus on my own productions in order to keep on producing new stuff, uh, fresh material, in order not to bore people on, on the dance floor. If they hear my stuff, the same stuff all the time, of course I repeat uh, a couple of tracks uh, sometimes, but I need to bring up new stuff all the time, so I really focus on my own productions all the time. How much time are you putting into this? How are you doing this all it's the time? It's my job, you know. Yeah. It's my job, so I, 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 need, to, I need to put some time into this. You're Otherwise, your own stuff. 24-7. So you need a lot of music when you're doing sets. Four, exactly. six, eight hours. That's a lot of music to put well, together. I cannot play four, six or eight hours. That's that's impossible for me. This would be like, I think, a not human amount of music. That's I don't have that's this kind you're of... you're playing only your own stuff. Exactly. You don't have enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like yesterday I played almost two hours in Montreal. But when I play two hours, I need to be able to play all kinds of... Uh, atmospheres that I have, like all, also slower stuff, you know, like on a, on, a, on a big stage or on a big place where there are a lot of people, you cannot play the really slow stuff because it's just, it, it's getting lost in the size of the whole place. Yeah. So if I have the possibility to really expand and go from very deep to harder, then I can play like two, maybe two and a half hours, but uh, yeah, that's special occasions. So I can't set up that four hour set that I was thinking about that two or four. I was going to run you to almost six hours, but we'll start slow. Like everyone's really getting into the tech house, yeah, the house, because the EDM and that big yeah, room yeah. stuff, it's kind of changing. Where do you think the music's going to start to go to? Yeah. yeah, I think at the beginning I didn't get the question because this shift is happening here right now, but in Europe, it's been going on for a while. Yes. Yes. So right. that's why at first yes. it was North America is like that. I've been seven years ago in Ibiza. I've been hearing. No, I sick know tracks. exactly what you mean, and I think this uh, progression is super interesting, because uh, EDM has been huge the last years. Uh, somehow I feel that people are already looking into other directions as well. So I really like this progression, this whole um, development over here uh, in Canada and in USA about electronic music. You know, even hip hop producers sometimes using like a 4-4 beat. Um, yeah, it's, it's cool, it's interesting to see and I'm happy that I can play a little role in this and be part of, of the scene over here, to travel over here, tour for three, four weeks here and be in Canada and in the US first uh, East Coast and West Coast should be is nice. So what's coming up next? What do you want everyone to know out there? What you're up to? Yeah, well, the album and the tour in the U.S. You know, we, we will be in uh, Philadelphia, Washington, and Boston this coming or this week. Then Miami, New York. Uh, I'll be in Los Angeles to present my album at Amoeba Record Store. 
Um, I will be at Decibels Festival in Seattle. At, I will be in San Francisco and then from San Francisco we will go straight over to Asia. Nice. Um, be in uh, Hong Kong, Tokyo and, uh, and, and also in tai, Taipei. Yeah, and then schedule. go back to, then we'll go back to Europe and then I have one weekend off. <laughs> when is that? Yeah. Four months That's, from now it sounds like? No, like um, mid-October. It's, yeah. not, it's not too yeah. bad. Yeah.